We have breaking news. NBC has learned that the Department of Justice is expected to announce an indictment against long-term Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas today. Let's get right to Ryan Nobles with that story. Ryan, what do we know? Well, Jose, we are expecting the indictment against Congressman Cuellar to be unsealed at some point today, according to sources familiar with the investigation. And right now, the Department of Justice is not commenting uh, on the investigation or possible indictment. But what we do know is that Cuellar has long been at the center of a lengthy investigation by Department of Justice officials. His home uh, was raided several years ago uh, by FBI uh, officers at the time. Uh, the uh, investigation investigation at that particular period of time involved his connection to the Abrajan government, uh, and there was some question of political corruption connected to that government. He serves on a powerful con committee connected to that government, uh, and at that time, it was thought that that's what the FBI was investigating. Now, we don't know quite yet what the contents of this indictment will reveal when they are revealed later this afternoon, but there is the possibility that it is connected to that initial raid. Uh, uh, Cuellar is a very powerful uh, Democrat, Jose. He is a member of the Appropriations Committee. Uh, he is a moderate Democrat who obviously represents Laredo, Texas. He is on the border uh, of Mexico. He has uh, been a Democrat that has uh, broken with much of his party, favoring much stronger border policies than many of his Democratic colleagues. He also happens to be one of the last remaining pro-life Democrats uh, still serving in the United States Congress. Uh, he has fended off uh, political challenges despite his legal issues time after time, including uh, winning a primary a couple of years ago by less than 300 votes from a progressive challenger, and then going on to win his general election, despite the fact that it was well known that he was the subject of this investigation. Now, uh, Cuellar and his office have yet to respond to this news that the indictment uh, could be handed down at any moment. But in the past, he has said that he has done nothing wrong and that he's denied any of the charges against him. Uh, it's also worth pointing out that his lawyer at the time of the initial rage shortly after that raid, had told reporters that he was under the assumption, based on his conversations with the FBI, that the investigation into Cuellar was done and that Cuellar was no longer facing any sort of legal trouble. That's obviously not the case. It's also the possibility that perhaps this indictment uh, could be related to something completely separate from what happened uh, during that raid from a couple of years ago. Uh, so there is still a lot that we're learning about this situation, Jose. This obviously creates a very difficult uh, political situation for House Democrats who are hoping uh, to retake the majority uh, in 2024. Uh, uh, Cuellar's district is a swing district. It's one that Republicans uh, certainly have in their sights. And now, given the fact uh, that he is facing this legal trouble that could complicate that situation, especially because Cuellar is already the Democratic nominee. They would not be able to replace him on the ballot unless he stepped down on his own. We're reaching out to Democratic leaders as well to see if they have any thoughts uh, on Cuellar's future and whether or not Cuellar has any tension intention of stepping down or at least stepping down from the powerful committees that he sits on uh, in uh, the House Democratic Caucus. He also serves in a leadership post in the House Democratic Caucus as well. So, Jose, this is a, a developing story that we're just uh, now starting to scratch the surface on, uh, but, but that's the latest as, as to what we have right now.